Good afternoon, First Lutheran, Cincy, and uh, Philippus Faith Communities. Pastoral intern Tyler here with you today for midweek prayer. This is a bit of a special week for me uh, for midweek prayer. Uh, this will be the last midweek prayer uh, that I will be doing as an intern at First Lutheran, which is um, really kind of bittersweet. <laughs> uh, this is my last week as an intern, and uh, so I'm doing a lot of reflecting and I'm doing a lot of discernment and thinking about um, what the past two years have been like for me and where I see myself going in the future. We've been through a lot together. Uh, it's been a wild two years with a pandemic, with um, a change in how we're doing church, uh, celebrating together with our uh, with our two congregations, which is really exciting. Um, and the world is just in a really different place. Uh, it's hard to sort of see, I think, um, with just all of the news and all of the uh, all of the changes where where God is in the middle of it. But I think what's giving me a lot of hope and a lot of um, a lot of content as I'm doing this reflection this week is this uh, this Sunday is. Uh, amongst other things, amongst it being Mother's Day, uh, amongst it being my last Sunday, uh, it's also Good Shepherd Sunday. And Good Shepherd Sunday comes in the Easter season, and uh, you'll oftentimes hear the passages that refer to God as shepherd, which is really kind of special for me as somebody considering pastoral ministry. In fact, the word pastor comes from a Latin word that means shepherd, so when we're talking about who the pastor is, Pastor Brian, uh, Pastor Brian is kind of acting as a shepherd or Pastor Sam as a, as a shepherd uh, of those particular faith communities. And so that's kind of an interesting sort of connection there. Uh, the idea is that the pastor is somebody that follows the example of the great pastor, the good shepherd, uh, Jesus in our faith. And so many of the stories that many of the, the, the scripture readings that churches will do this Sunday focus on that idea of who God is as a pastor or as a, as a shepherd. When we talk about what shepherds do and who shepherds are in scripture, it's also really interesting as well. Um, whenever you're reading a psalm and you come across the word shepherd, that's a metaphor uh, for the king. Um, David was a shepherd. King David was a shepherd um, as an example. But God is also the shepherd too. And so when we're talking about that idea, this, this, uh, this concept of the shepherd, it is somebody that is a leader. It's somebody that is um, maybe not necessarily a ruler or a monarch, uh, but it's somebody that leads a community. It's somebody that helps them uh, become the best community that they can be, uh, the most uh, honoring community for, for God. And so that's sort of something that as pastors, we look to the example of Jesus in uh, Jesus who taught, Jesus who uh, took care of the sick and the needy, Jesus who stood up to uh, the powers that oppressed other people, uh, Jesus who performed miracles, Jesus that proclaimed the glory of God. Um, and these are all sort of examples of what we do in ministry. When you think about the role of a pastor, or, or excuse me, the role of a shepherd um, in, in its context, the role of a shepherd does many things for the sheep, uh, makes sure that the, the sheep are able to thrive, they're able to, to eat green grass and uh, have clean water to drink from. Uh, the shepherd protects the sheep from any danger, the wolves or from bandits. Uh, the, the shepherd is deeply involved in the protection of, of its flock. And if the sheep are not feeling well, if the sheep are going through a hard time, the, the shepherd is ultimately responsible for their health. And so those are some things that sort of connect uh, the, those two ideas, the uh, God is shepherd and God is pastor, um, and then our role in the middle of that. I also have to say that pastors are not, people who, who hold the, the role of pastor are not uh, the only people that are expected to act as pastors necessarily, uh, or maybe ministers is a better word. Each, every, each and every one of you is a, a minister as well. Uh, you all have been uh, involved in the faith community life of 
our congregations and that makes you, uh, because you've been baptized, that makes you a pastor or a minister as well. Uh, it means that you are responsible in this task of taking care of one another, of proclaiming the good news. And so it's not just for those of us who have big fancy theological degrees, but it's for all of you too. Uh, this is something that, that we all do together. We all participate in this reflection of Jesus the Good Shepherd. And so I think that's really special and that's really important to reflect on today. Um, I also, because it is Mother's Day and uh, Mother's Day can carry with it some uh, some nuanced, uh, sometimes some difficult and sometimes some great uh, feelings uh, for the mothers that uh, are in our lives or were in our lives, for those who are mothers, um, for those who have a hard time uh, with Mother's Day, those who, who maybe perhaps cannot be mothers or didn't have good relationships with their mothers or maybe didn't even have a mother. Um, and so it's it's nuanced, I think. Uh, it's bittersweet in many ways uh, to talk about Mother's Day as a holiday. Um, but I think it's also an opportunity for us to reflect creatively on how God is also uh, like a mother to us. A few Sundays ago, we talked about uh, Jesus as the mother hen gathering the chicks underneath her wings. And that's an example, that's a picture of God as mother. Uh, God who birthed the world. Um, that's another picture of God as mother. There was a, uh, a famous um, theologian in the medieval period by the name of Julian of Norwich. And she lived in England, and she was uh, she's kind of similar to a nun. Um, she lived most of her her uh, her religious life confined to one room and um, as an act of devotion. And she had these visions, and one of the uh, one of the images that she has is Christ as mother. And I think that's something that's really creative and really interesting, and it's uh, something that's been part of our tradition for hundreds and hundreds of years to be able to get creative with our, our naming of God as mother. And so this Sunday, we've got some images. We've got the image of God as a shepherd and God as a mother. And I think that's really special, uh, something that I'm thinking about and how over the last two years, God has been like a shepherd to me, and God has also been like a mother to me. And I wonder about those places for you, uh, if you've been able to reflect on where God has been like a mother to you or perhaps been like a shepherd to you. What did that look like? Um, where are the, the places where you saw God in the middle of that? As things are difficult in our country right now, um, I'm certain that uh, news, uh, news of, of present issues are probably popping up all over everybody's news feed. Um, and it's really difficult for us to to sit here with with information that could have really devastating um, impact on on the people that live in this country and people that live uh, throughout the world. Um, I think it's important to reflect on who God is and how God takes care of us, how God defends us from harm, and the ways in which we join God in. God's mission to the world, how we take care of one another, um, be it comforting those who need comforting, um, helping those who need to thrive, giving them an opportunity to do so, uh, standing up to the powers that be, uh, reminding them that though they may be, um, though they may be the ones in power, um, Caesar is not God, and I think that's a that's important to name. Uh, that we serve somebody that is beyond uh, the scope of of human government, and certainly human government is to be uh, is to be respected where uh, it is where it is uh, administering justice rightly. Uh, but it's also to say that we serve a God that is greater than those institutions. We serve a God that is more interested in justice than those institutions. I think that's important to remember too. So all of that, I know it's a lot of stuff to reflect on today, <laughs> um, but this is also a special week for me where uh, where I am doing a lot of reflecting. I'm looking a lot you know, back uh, over the past several months on what my internship has looked like and discerning where the spirit has been active. Um, 
holding appreciation for everybody that's been with me on the way, everybody that's been able to teach me um, and lead me in my own journey. And I've been very thankful for that. Uh, I'm going to, to read a passage for you, a very famous passage from the Bible, probably so, probably many people's favorite uh, favorite passages. And I think it's important for this, uh, this upcoming Sunday, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to share a, a prayer with you for the week, and then I've got a couple of announcements uh, at the end. So this is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want... He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me on in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a, a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Will you pray with me? Mothering God and shepherding God, we give you thanks for another day uh, in which to live life. We give you thanks for the water that you send on the earth to, uh, to give nourishment to the things that will ultimately uh, be food or, or flowers contributing to the beauty of your earth. We give you thanks for uh, this con these congregations and we give you thanks for our time together. We love you, Lord, and uh, we don't always show that in the ways that we we need to. We don't always uh, we don't always act with kindness or with justice towards one another. We don't always take the time to understand one another. Help us to be repentant. Help us to be transformed, and give us a vision for what you would have us do, how you would have us participate in the kingdom uh, that you are bringing into the world even now. Be with us this week as we go about our lives, as we work, as we play, as we eat, as we sleep. Uh, be with us our whole life long, uh, even when times are tough. Uh, remind us of your presence. We give you thanks and praise. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. I'm so glad that you took the time to, to tune in. Um, and it's been a wonderful blessing for me to be able to be with you on these Wednesday afternoons to share a little bit of a, a theological um, a theological thinking or uh, a prayer or uh, something exci some exciting news. It's, it's been a great time for, for me to participate in that. And I hope that this has been a blessing for you too. Uh, as I mentioned before, this Sunday uh, is my last Sunday, and uh, I believe that there will probably be a, uh, a reception following the service. Um, and so we'd love to have you show up there. It would be lovely to uh, to meet with you and to um, uh, to formally say goodbye as well. I know that will be a bit of a, a, a bittersweet Sunday, uh, but also a reminder that this Sunday is Mother's Day. Um, and uh, while it can be joyful for some of us, it is not always uh, the case for, for others. Um, and so remember to treat this day with a little bit of, of nuance and, and that understanding. Next week, uh, next Sunday, not this Sunday, but uh, the following Sunday, there is uh, the annual meeting will be taking place and you should have received uh, a, uh, an announcement in the mail about that. So uh, we hope that you'll join us or we hope that you'll join us um, the week after the weekend after after this weekend to to talk about what the ministry of First Lutheran looks like. I think that's that's an important thing for us to do uh, because even though we're out of the building, we're still uh, we are still First Lutheran and we're still doing ministry and over the Rhine. And so we hope to see you there as well. So those are just a couple of, of announcements that we had. Um, with that, go in peace and share the love of God. Thanks be to God.